All right, so what do you want to talk about? Should we talk about the state of the late models? Yeah, we can. I mean, why do you think that there's, they struggle with car counts? I don't know. I don't know. All that I could say is that I go to the track. I, bore, I buy four tires. It's $700. I buy five gallons of fuel. That's $100. I pay my way in. That's another $45. And yeah. then I go out there and I win for 600 and I go home two hundred fifty dollars poorer. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you know that. In, in the best case scenario, <laughs> but you I, go but, home. but but the thing is, I can't say that. Hey, if you bump the, the purse to nine hundred dollars, you'd have thirty cars every week. Yeah, I, I right. can't. Right. You know, that's not something that they bump the purse up for the SK lights. I mean, they got a few more cars, but it's not like they have twenty cars now. Yeah, right for sure. So I I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's tough. It's tough for the track to, you know, dish out more money for a division that. You know, isn't thriving, and, and then will it thrive if they increase the purse? I don't know. I mean, that's just yeah. You know, Terry Ames told me years ago, like when I first met him and started talking with him, that he didn't never believed in raising the purse because it wasn't going to bring in well, more yeah. drivers. And I just thought, wow, what a what a jerk off thing to say, right? Like, why wouldn't you want to support the the drivers that are supporting your track? Blah blah blah. But the as the years go by, like I think he's right. Like look at Thompson, right. Right, what was it five grand to win? They the, pay a lot in yeah. all their divisions. Yeah, those outlaw mods was five grand up. to win, they, wasn't it? And they pay on the spot. Like yeah. you would go out and collect a check. And they don't. They they have terrible car counts. The late models is still just six hundred to win. Yep. Wow, I thought that they bumped nope. that up at and some point. And you will see this week will be a true test, right? Because it's three grand. Seekonk's off. Oh, yep. true. That's a good point. I mean, if you only have ten cars, I I you know the one thing that Stafford does. Because they're they're late models, you know it's 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 an old school late model of the speedball. Really, it's a metric yeah. car, pretty much, right? right? G metric car, yeah. But they do just a great job of hyping the place up. Yeah, it makes you feel like you got to be there, and that doesn't happen at Waterford. Well, right, because Bruce hasn't hi- hired anybody to promote the place. I mean, right. what does he expect? You know? Do you think? If C- I mean, if Stafford switched over to late models, do you think they'd have tw- act late models? Yeah, twenty five to show up. Hmm. Probably not for a couple of years. But do you think right off the rip? Let's say, they, say let's just say right now they said, all right, next year we're bringing the act division in. How many cars do you think they have in, in in place of their current late or models? They, let's or they drop the limiteds. Yep. And they say, okay, limiteds convert your cars over to late models if you want to continue to run. But we're bringing the ACT cars in also. So it's an added division, right? So you're not forcing anybody with a G car to go act racing. Right. Uh, I would think minimum what you say, if not longer. How many do you think show up for yeah. opening day? Do you think there's more than the Speedball has right now? I think they get no. 14. 14? I think, dude, maybe 12 they would get. Yeah, but Who? I would bet Stark Stark already has an act car. He'd be there. Well, I mean, you were you would were you just go saying, there? yeah. Stafford, I yeah. can't on a Friday. Yeah, see, With that's more. the thing. I bet you there's ten at least opener. Yeah, at least ten. Yeah, I I I just think like uh, it's like which I think opener you would see probably more than ten just because you would have people that travel to go run right, Stafford. right, and it's right. on a weekend, but possibly right. like weekly running every week. Probably I a dozen. I, yeah, right. I think, maybe. I think it would take a while for it to gain popularity. I mean, Stafford basically funneled all of the old G metric late models right. and took everyone from Thompson, everyone from Waterford, took all their cars and brought them there. Yeah, and you can't run them anywhere else. So yeah, I mean, at first, Diego, opportunity. I thought you were suggesting that we force the current late model series to adapt to the act rules, and I was like, we just can't. That would just be an unmitigated no, they've disaster. Tried that. that wouldn't work. No, but that if wouldn't you made work. The limited... They have a good thing going there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I it's mean, not a ten out of ten series, but like it's pretty I mean, good. I, we're on agreement that this is just like there's no Stafford would never do this. No, right. they no. would never bring in the X. One hundred percent. What are they going to even call it? Yeah, I don't know why they would fuck up what they got going on. Right, they no, would they never would do not. it. You can't. But I mean, if they did, we like we were just saying, like the purse really isn't the issue. It's more on like promotion. Like Stafford doesn't have problems with that compared to Thompson or Waterford. Like, if, at yeah. all, really. If they, right now, they're saturated with late models. If they brought yeah. cars in alongside their late models, they would just lose half of each, you know. You yeah, you're, lose, you're diluting it. You're diluting yeah. the yes, division. correct. Can I say this about the cars? This is what I think has happened yeah. in that division. To me, 
the division's a little difficult, at least for people like us. If you notice the mainstays of that division, they have been there a while. There's not a lot of newcomers that come in. And if they do, like the Hovies and the Plemons, they're in and out. You know what I mean? Like they buy cars and they're like, this. Yeah. Right? They're I not agree. because they're they're so like I it's so frustrating. It's almost put me either A building an SK light or building a pro truck and getting out of the late models again. That's, I'm confused. You you're talking about the act late models? Yes. But Hubby and Plemons got into the late models and left. I don't yes. I'm not following you. Yeah, yeah. They both ran like three or four races. With the act late model? Yeah. With at Waterford. Or, at Waterford. Yeah. With us. Yeah, they wow. had cars. I don't even remember that. Yeah, and they and they and, and Hovey <laughs> finished I think third one time or, or fourth. Yeah. And I I work with him every day and he you know what he says to me? Them ticks. That's what yeah. he says to me. He's like, Yeah, they're 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 way harder to drive than my SK light or even the street stock was funner to drive for me. I can't see in front of the guy in front of me in the late yeah. models. He just you know, and it's hard. Like it's hard for him and his dad, who've been street stalkers their whole life. To come in and beat a guy like you. It's a different beast. It's a it's total... A I mean, I've realized that it's so difficult. Even when Tommy Fern drove my car, he got in that thing, and just his his routine, his habits from his car were completely opposite of the way you drive an right. car. You know, right. He's used to driving a thing in and stepping on the gas and going. Right. Late models, you got to roll the thing and just keep it going. You can't really just expect the motor to make up for it. Right. And, I mean, even, even uh, Adam Gray, who's raced yeah. at cars... They went to Stafford, and Adam struggled. I mean, oh, he, yeah. he was not I, – I expected Adam to be one of the favorites. You know, yeah. Tommy Gray would have been great too. Yep, yep. But I thought Adam Gray was like, okay, this guy is actually driven in that car. Oh, yeah. When he gets in this thing, he's going to be – Yeah, he struggled too, right? Oh, yeah, he was He was definitely struggling. Yeah. And it, it surprised – even Bennett. Bennett, who – Oh, yeah. You know, track champion at Stafford, got in, a, got in the act car, and he didn't do have you, good luck. Do you <laughs> think, though, do you think it's because the difficulty of the car – do you think that has something to do with it or no? I don't know what it is, why these guys get in and get out. I don't know. I've never yeah. driven a Stafford late model, so I don't know how easy those are. Right. But, I mean, I, all that I know is a late model, and they're a lot easier than a legend car. Right. No, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, that's I mean, right. I, and I've, I mean, I've driven an SK a few times, and those things are, like, boring. I yeah. mean, they just don't do anything. You don't have a straightaway. It's, all you hear is motor. You get to the corner, and you feel it. You don't, you yeah. don't actually slip and slide. And I, I don't know. I feel like the late model is a lot harder to drive than – and that's K. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I thought so too. But I, I, you know, I don't know why there's there's not a lot of newbies, and everybody that's in the division, you know, whether it's you, whether it's the fifty, whether it's Ray, you know, uh, the new one is that's done well has been Doug Curry. Yeah. Yeah, he stepped up his game and is competitive. But the um, Shays, the Shays, the Shays, yeah, the Shays came there and he's he's pushing top three almost every week when, yeah. he, when he shows up. Yeah. Yeah, he but, was up at Oxford this past week. Yeah, but he's had time like, you know, a Thompson and uh yeah, he I mean yeah. not a lot, but I guess so. I, I don't know. I just don't know why nobody takes unless people just aren't taking the progression anymore. You know, like when me and Sean were coming through, we started in Enduros by ourselves, mini stocks, streeters, st really Stafford late models today, the metrics. Yep. And we just carried through. There was no SK lights at the time. I don't know how many kids are going through that progression. A lot of them just hop right over the late model. They go from legends to SK lights or SKs or uh, you know what I mean or they go travel. I don't I don't understand. I don't know if so, as many people are going through the steps of progression anymore.